one of my followers the other day was like, Hey, Llama, do you have uh, any other kind of weird random stuff lying around that you collect? Well, I don't collect salt and pepper shakers. Okay, what I do do... <sighs> I said do-do. What I do <laughs> is uh, I do flea markets. And whenever you do flea markets, sometimes you'll 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 you know buy somebody else out for cheap, or or you'll you'll get a box of stuff, or somebody will just give you stuff that they don't want because they know that you do flea markets, and you end up acquiring stuff. And uh, I have a lot more than this. I just pulled out these because you know they're they're kind of different. You got your terracotta, your uh, wood, cheap plastic, hard plastic, um, different kind of wood, and you got whatever the heck those are, and um, I just think they're interesting. I'm not, I don't collect them. I'm not going to collect them. In fact, if you want them, hey, make me an offer. I don't care. We can work something out. But, uh, <laughs> but these are uh, very interesting. I'll just show you real quick. You got, you know, a salt and pepper shaker here. You got uh, little burger salt and pepper shakers. You got a made in Hong Kong. <laughs> you got you got a cat trying to attack my my camera. But um, got these things here. I think one of them has the. Uh, oh, it's got its thing on the bottom. They're pretty cool. I don't know where they were made i don't know if they're old if they're collectible if they're junk but uh people people actually do collect these because i do I'll, I'll sell a set for like a buck at the flea market something like that you know and uh people people like uh you know the ones that look kind of handmade or the ones that look interesting you're missing your cork but it's kind of neat what does that say circle k campground Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Huh. They, um, you often find stuff like this in tourist traps. You know, they have, uh, I guess, um, they got one down the road from me in Tamarack. You got, like, Tamarack themed, and you can get, uh, you know, your, your, your West Virginia salt and pepper shakers. You know, not a lot of people really do up dinner anymore. They don't. They don't really care about having their their uh, table looking all fancy and all you know and all that other stuff anymore, which is kind of a shame. Um, back in the day, having like novelties and stuff like this at your table kind of added a little bit of personality to uh, to your food, I guess. Um, you got uh, what do you say, Taiwan? Oh, I can't read it. I think these are plastic. This this one's never been open. They're just adorable little salt and pepper shakers there too. If uh, if you collect some of these and you have um, an inordinate amount of wisdom or insight on this sort of thing, or if you want them, because I couldn't care less, <laughs> go ahead and let me know in the comment section below, and uh, uh, we'll work something out. I just uh, I'm just you know seeking wisdom, and I just wanted to show you guys because couple of my people hey you collect anything else well, yeah. you can have a bunch of stuff it doesn't necessarily mean you collect it it just means that it appears a lot you know um, and these these come up quite a lot at uh, at flea markets and things like that I think people charge too much for them and um, you know I'm just like a book of pop you can have it you know it's fine have a nice day you know I don't care but <laughs> well, like I said, if you have uh, wisdom or insight and you want to share your knowledge, um, hey, feel free to do so, man. It's all good. Thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead, like, share, subscribe, or don't. You know, it's a free country. I couldn't care less. And you have a nice day. I'm out. I'm coming home.